People always ask me, brass tax. I'm looking to buy a new TV for 4K because I want to enjoy the 4K in this bitch. What do I get? So I'm going to help guide you guys in the right direction. So let's get on with it. Brass tax. Guys, I got my coffee. This time, I went with a gingerbread latte in this bitch. Hope you guys are having a fantastic week. Existing subscribers, I love you guys, new subscribers, welcome. So allow me to introduce myself, it's Ross Tats in this bitch, you already know. New subscribers, listen, I've been told, well, requested by a number of people that I tone down on the swearing somewhat because they have kids, I understand. They want to watch the video, but they can't do it because there's kids in the background or whatever, it's a problem. Can't be hearing bitch and shit like that. I'll try and keep it as clean as I can, but the reason I swear is not because I'm not articulate in this bitch. The reason I swear is to emphasize a point or my frustration. I'm not, there's no filter on this channel, goddammit. So I'm sorry. Anyway, let's talk TVs. Guys looking for new TVs, you know, we're pretty much on the same boat. I have had my eyes on certain TVs and shit. We're not gonna get technical, we're not gonna get in specifics, but what I will say is, is uh, TVs are not cheap, especially high-end TVs. I would always say if you wanna get a TV, you'd kinda wanna future-proof yourself. I bought my television early 2016. I would've actually got the JS9000 to be honest, but it was out of stock where I wanted it and it was a really good price. I picked up the JS95,000 or 9500. I've been really happy with it, but I picked it up for a primarily a number of reasons. It was one of the few TVs that year, 2015, that had HDR. It was very, very heavily praised. I think this sat alongside the OLED in terms of the best TVs to get. Both very expensive, love this TV. Another reason I picked it up is because guys who have Samsung TVs know. There's a processor in the back of the TV, so which you could upgrade every year, and that adds features. Okay, it's not going to really improve picture quality, but it can definitely add options to picture quality. That's why I picked that up. Come to find out that my future-proof TV isn't so future-proof, because you've got HDR10 now, which is at 1,000 nits. I believe that TV is around 700, maybe 800. It might be 1,000, I don't know. But whatever the case is, last year's TVs were better in terms of the knitage. Do you know what I'm saying? Samsung decided to abandon the Evolution kit, which kind of left me fucked up in this bitch. You know when you, you got a pretty girl around your place and you've been wanting things to happen for a while and she's giving you the look and then you give another look and you're ready for it to happen. You're ready. You are excited. You're all tingly in this bitch. And then she turn around to you and says, nah, we just want to be friends. You know that disappointment? That's the disappointment I had when Samsung said there was gonna be no evolution upgrade last year for the previous TVs. I was upset like a motherfucker, I ain't gonna lie to you. I was waiting for the Tizen, is it Tizen? Tizen update. We didn't get shit on the SUHDs. I'm still waiting for my Tizen update in this bitch. In any case, Samsung, go fuck yourselves. I do a lot of research when looking for TVs. And I saw this TV in the showroom I didn't do the one thing I really needed to do, and that is when you're looking at the TV, you might want to stand left or right to see how it looks from the sides. I didn't even do that, bitch. I would avoid getting a curved TV, because I have a curved TV, and if you are social, you would think that the, the, the curved TV is designed so you can see that bitch from every angle. Guess what? It ain't designed so you can see that bitch from every angle. I'm gonna keep it real with you. You turn a little bit to the left, a little to the right, that shit deteriorates like a motherfucker. The picture gonna look faded as hell. You're gonna be upset in this bitch. So now when I watch TV, when I watch a movie, it's gonna be head on in this bitch. You know you when you get Instagram chicks and you look at their profiles and they're all in the same motherfucking pose for 200 pictures? They might as well be a Samsung curved TV in this bitch because the Samsung curved TV is amazing from one angle in this bitch. I would absolutely avoid curved TVs for sure. You want to get a large television. The larger the TV is, the more you appreciate the 4K. Now, in all honesty, I would say nothing less than 60 inch. People can see a difference in HDR and quality on a 55. I've got a 65 inch and I notice the detail, but I've seen the same movie on a 75 inch and you notice the detail a lot more. If you're sitting three or four feet away from the TV and you've got more screen real estate, then you're gonna see more shit. Let's just keep it real. Big is better. 
100%. Don't tell women that. But for TVs, big is better. Now, if you're someone who tends to upgrade the TV every two years, the technology is moving so fast. Right, we thought HDR10 was the standard. We also got now Dolby Vision in the mix. And then we got some other HDR bullshit for cable. What kind of bullshit is this bitch? And then there's another one. I don't even know. Shit hurt my head. So you want a large TV. Now, even if you don't have a, a, a Dolby Vision uh, 4K player, you still want to get one just to future-proof that bitch. So you want Dolby Vision and HDR10 for sure. The other HDR on cable, I don't know whether you're bothered. I'm not bothered personally, but you might want that shit too. If you're looking for a television that you want to keep for six, seven years, if money isn't an option as well, I would go OLED every time because the picture quality on that bitch is stunning. Over here, a 75 inch OLED is going to cost 20K. That's a deposit on a motherfucking flat in this bitch. If you can afford it, pick it up. OLED is the best way of watching it. Uh, I don't know what Sony's pricing is yet, but that's something else to look at too. If you can, I would probably suggest getting last year's OLED because that's still the mutts nuts. That, in terms of picture quality, and it does 3D. Yeah, so if you're a 3D fan, kiss that shit goodbye because this year's TVs, this year's range, They've abandoned that bitch. And I don't know whether they will ever bring out 4K 3D. I don't, if it does, I can't see it happening anytime soon. So that's something else you may want to consider. So you've got Samsung's offering. They've got the QLED, which sounds a lot like OLED, which is, to me personally, from what I've read and what I've seen, just marketing. Samsung are A1 at marketing. And the differences from what I understand are that the picture is brighter and that's pretty much it. I think over the last few years, there've been very minor differences in, in the Samsung TVs. Like I said, I got the JS9500. I've seen the K9500, the KS9500. There's slightly more color and it's brighter. I didn't see it by much, to be honest. And no 3D, so fuck that shit. When it comes to LED TVs, I don't think you can go wrong with Samsung. I've had Samsung TVs for the longest time and I've never had an issue. It's gotta be LG in terms of uh, OLED. Got to be, their, their, their TVs look beautiful. That shit just looks like it's popping out of the screen. It really does. I know I say that a lot in reviews, but it really does look three dimensional in this bitch. If you're a gamer, then you might want to consider LED. Like the latency on the Samsung LED TVs is minimal. If you like playing Twitch shooters, go for LED. Now I know there's Vizio, there's Panasonic and these other TV brands, and I'm not knocking them at all. I just don't know enough about them to really comment on them, but I have heard great things about them as well. If you have a Dolby Vision 4K player, it would make sense to pick up a, a, something with Dolby, uh, a 4K Dolby Vision television. People are asking me, is HDR overall really that important? There's 4K TVs from a few years back, which are really cheap now. Yes, HDR is ultra important. It's just as important as 4K in this bitch. You do not even look at a TV without HDR right now. It's a game changer, 100%. In terms of gaming and in terms of 4K Blu-ray, it really is. And even Netflix. That's all I'm really going to say about it, guys. This was really just a, a chat more than a, an official kind of buying guide. So I appreciate you watching. Hit the like button if you liked it. If you've got any questions, leave a comment in the comment section. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll catch up with you soon.